okay this is interesting you can automatically start any web browser in private mode whether it's chrome firefox edge or safari and doing so is really easy let's begin with chrome now with google chrome it's best to use a shortcut file so to do that i'm going to click the start button and then type chrome in the search field after doing that right click the chrome application and then choose open file location so now it should take you directly to where a shortcut is in case you don't have it in the desktop now right click on the shortcut icon for chrome and then choose properties from the shortcut tab go to where it says target and then go at the very end hit the space button and then type hyphen incognito and then windows is going to prompt you for administration privileges click continue to go on and now you are done so now this specific shortcut for google chrome can now automatically open in incognito mode if you want you can copy that shortcut to the desktop so that you can easily have access to it and now look at this if i open this specific shortcut of chrome look it now opens in incognito mode now for firefox and doing this is even easier all you have to do is open firefox go to the top right and then click the menu icon and then choose options once you have opened the preferences go to where it says privacy and security go to where it says history and now where it says firefox will choose never remember history from the drop down menu and really when you think about it this is the main idea behind private browsing and now for microsoft edge to do that you need to create a new shortcut for edge in the desktop so right click the desktop go to new and then choose shortcut now where it says type the location of the item copy and paste this right here this command and i'll have this in the video description so click next and now where it says type a name for the shortcut choose a name i'm going to call it mm, let's see hush hush <laughs> you can choose any name you want so once you're done click finish and now you should see your shortcut and now it should work as you can see if i double click this look edge now opens in private mode but something's a little off that doesn't look like edge look at that shortcut let's change it to do that right click the shortcut and then choose properties and from the shortcut tab click change icon and now where it says look for icons in this file you want to enter this path right here and again i'll put this in the video description so you can copy and paste it from there and now click ok and there you go as you can see this icon has been changed to microsoft edge so now you have a genuine edge icon and last but not least safari like firefox doing this on safari is very simple so once you have opened safari click on the safari menu from the top left and then choose preferences from the general section go to where it says safari opens with and now choose a new private window and there you go after doing this safari will automatically start in private mode so as you can see overall doing this for the major web browsers is pretty simple for more videos like this please subscribe and thanks for watching